News in the world of Bell Ride as more details are coming out, including information about roads and decorations. A much requested feature, we will be able to build our own roads within our settlement. And just like the game roads, these will increase movement speed as well as reduce stamina when using them and villagers will prefer to use these roads. So we can help determine their paths to make them more efficient or less dangerous. They can be built off and attached to the main road and connected via snapping points and they can be placed freely throughout the world. Let's take a look at what Misper from Donkey Crew is letting us know about the new roads. Hello everyone, Nisper here with Donkey Crew, and we wanted to give you guys another sneak peek at a very widely requested feature for our next update, roads and decorations for your settlement. We'll start off with the first feature, buildable roads, which now can be placed down on the map. Let's pause and look a bit more closely at this right here. If I go back, I can see that this is a tier one tool that we can use. And it doesn't require any resources to make these roads. All it requires to make it is having a shovel, which you get pretty early on. Now can be placed down on the map. It can be connected to previous roads. And they'll increase movement speed as well as reduce stamina usage whenever anyone is using them. The villagers will prefer these when moving between locations as well. You can make pretty much whatever design you want, but also keep in mind that you can snap road pieces together for a cleaner look. When you place these roads around the world, you won't currently be able to see them on the map, but they are considering that for a future update. And then we get into the many types of decorations that you can now add. Is that a noose? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> Using the new craftsman's nook, you can place decorations all around your village including not only lanterns that we can put in the main villages and wanted to put at home, but many styles of them. Moving on from that, we have the new craftsman's nook. You can now make decorative items that are placeable around your settlement. So if we look closer at this, we can see that there's a single lantern, a twine bound lantern, and a wooden arch lantern, as well as basket, closed basket, multiple types, the gallows, and we're gonna see a stockade here in a minute. And this scroll bar goes pretty far, so there's quite a few of them, and they do plan on adding more. Chairs, for instance, can now be placed down, which are interactable by NPCs, and the direction of the doll shows which way it should be facing. We have a great assortment of boxes, barrels, pathway markers, and shrine stones that help to customize the general area around your town. We are hoping to add more as development continues, and if you enjoy this aspect of the game, make sure to let us know in the comments below or on any of our Steam or Discord forums. Lots of great new items coming. One thing they didn't mention that I'd like to throw in as well is that in the huge update that is around the corner, you're also going to be able to move your buildings. So if you want to move on up to a new village location, you'll be able to pick up your village buildings from your first site and move them with the resources to a new site, including your town hall now. There's so much stuff coming in this next update. If you guys would like me to take my game into the preview branch and get some real details on all of these major updates upcoming, let me know in the comments below. Like and comment to feed the algorithm and free subscribe for more Bellright. Until next time, happy gaming.